Hey everyone, Nick from Nick's Crossing here. Welcome back to the train room for an awesome unboxing video. Happy York week, happy York day one. I'm back from the show, up here in the train room. In about 30 minutes, I gotta pack up and go to work. And then I'm going to the York show again tomorrow, Friday the 21st of April. But anyways guys, let's get into this unboxing. Here we go, all aboard. All right guys, just got back to the train room from the York train show and it is toasty out there. Was not expecting it to be this hot. But anyways, tis the season to be summer. And we are up here in the train room. I'm glad to be back filming as well. It's been a while. Uh, I've been busy at work. I'm actually working nights on the railroad, so keeping it nice and cool out there, getting a bunch of work done. I uh, joined the Thai production gang with Amtrak, and it is so much fun. It's an excellent job. I love working out there on the railroad, especially at night. Just so much fun. But anyways, guys, the York train show was fantastic. I plan to go back tomorrow, which is day two, on April 21st, 2023. And it's going to be an awesome day. I'm looking for like smaller things like JT's Mega Steam right here. And we'll see what else uh, I can get into at the York show. Today I met up with some of my friends as well. Sean from Sean's Train Depot. Wesley from Wesley's Trains. And also a surprise encounter with Zach from Country Bunker Trains. So it's been an awesome day out there at the train show. But anyways guys, um, a couple of these pieces. I have to thank Wesley for uh, helping me out with these. Two of the cars you guys will be seeing were actually picked out by him. He sold those to me, and also the locomotive that I bought, that I've been looking for for a long time, um, was actually, uh, the deal was kind of done through him to save me some bucks there, so I have to thank him on that as well. But anyways guys, let's get into this awesome unboxing. Alright guys, so this show I mostly bought Weaver cars, and I have one honorable mention car that I bought up at Cool Trains in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So the first two cars, um, these were sold to me by Wesley from Wesley's Trains. And these are awesome cars. So these are actually Knoebel's commemorative cars. They come out with one every year or they have like a, a stockpile and they only release one every year. So they retire a car every year. So they're actually kind of hard to find. So the first one is this Impulse car right here. Impulse, and it says 2015. Yep, Impulse 2015 on there. Now this is actually their only inverted roller coaster that they had custom built from a company after um, the whirlwind that went away in the early 2000s it was actually their uh, original uh, inverted coaster and that was built by aerodynamic it was one of my favorite coasters and my first inverted roller coaster so i'm a roller coaster buff as well so yeah it's a really nice car love the graphics you have uh, dexter and also cosmo in the car right there ready to ride impulse and it's a fun ride it's an awesome little uh, inverted coaster but um, I'm more of a wooden coaster fan myself, but this is an awesome, beautiful car. Typical Weaver high cube, opening doors and everything as well. So we set that on the track here. The next car is actually really, really special. It's got the logo, the golden ticket, and all of that. So that is this reefer right here. It's got the Knoebel's original logo on this side, then the golden ticket right there. And you got Cosmo, their uh, main mascot throwing food around. So for anyone who doesn't know theme park uh, terminology, the golden ticket is like the best of the best. You're awarded the golden ticket after voting, and Knoebel's wins a lot for best food. They do have a fantastic array of uh, food options on the property. They pretty much have everything and everything you could possibly want. I want to say everything but like Asian food. So uh, they got like Italian, Mexican food, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's awesome. So uh, it's one of my favorite parks to go to and just chow down. Um, on some different food options as well. So it's actually one of my favorite parks to go to just for food and also of course their rides and attractions on property. Fantastic park and this year they actually have the Haunted Mansion turning 50 years old so I'll be up there on opening day to film that for you guys as well. Alright guys at the show I also kind of went Weaver Hopper crazy and Woodside crazy. So I actually bought what five of the same car and also a Cole Goes to War car which you guys will see and a wartime gondola. So it's been a while since I've seen these floating around, and I've seen these uh, buy war bonds, coal hoppers, going for like crazy money, things like that. So a uh, gentleman had these for like 35 bucks a piece. He had two of them, gave them to me for 60 bucks, And then also Trains, Trains with a Z at their booth, had a ton of these hoppers. So I bought as many as I could. I think there was like four or five of those that I picked up. So um, all together I got um, a lot of these wartime hoppers. So let's get into this. So the first one is this Cole Goes to War. Now the war sign actually looks like Star Wars. I thought that was kind of cool how they did that. This is a typical Weaver Hopper with the plastic trucks. Just love that graphic right there. Cole Goes to War. So we'll set that on track one. Now the next one are these Buy War Bonds um, hoppers. These are really cool. All metal trucks, all metal painted trucks. 
It's my first uh, painted um, painted truck hopper car. And this is just really, really cool. Got the uh, nice wood side decals there. Uh, and also on the inside, it's actually kind of heavy. It's like weighted. And I think that's because of the trucks. The trucks are all die cast. They're sprung. Really nice rolling trucks. They roll like butter. So I ended up getting five of these. And also, this is called a wartime gondola. This NYC right here is all plastic, but it's a wood-sided car with metal sprung trucks as well. This thing's actually really cool. The detail is phenomenal underneath. Look at all that detail, the brakes and all that. So I thought these were really, really interesting cars. So guys, Trains is selling these hoppers for 25 bucks a piece. So for 100 bucks, I got all those cars. It's like 106 bucks that they charge, like a service fee. And then uh, the other two by War Bonds cars were from a separate dealer. It was 60 bucks, so for 10 bucks more, I got two more hoppers. Now, the honorable mention car is actually this Pennsylvania cabin caboose right here. All wood side. It's a beautiful MTH piece. Lots of detail there. Got a little glad hand at the back. Little lanterns that do light up. And there's a crew figuring up top as well. So uh, I bought this up at Cool Trains in Lancaster County. Uh, I think it was like 40 bucks. Beautiful scale caboose. And then also forgot to mention... Back here, I got another three bay Pennsylvania. At this show, I bought how many hoppers? We got five, six, seven hoppers. So uh, more to add to the hopper train. I'm trying to do one continuous PRR hopper train. I want to do like a 60 car train, if not more, with the decapod. Uh, it's also a lot of fun to run giant like hopper trains up at the club and things like that. Also, guys, filming this video, Chessie wanted to say hi, so she, so she kept on biting my ankle. But here she is, Chessie the cat in the flesh so we gotta continue this video we gotta we gotta go to work soon yeah we gotta go to work so I'm gonna put you down gotta continue the video alright guys so the special locomotive will be rolling in momentarily so here we go and it's also pulling all the brand new cars I picked up from the York show She is rolling down track one. All right, guys, so here is the new steam engine from York. This is a PS2 Atlantic from MTH, number 1645. Got crew figurines in there, a whole cab lit up and everything. Realistic coal load, beautiful tender. We also have uh, little marker lamps back there. Up front is probably my favorite. Look at all the marker lamps. Two on the pilot, and also two up high. Fan driven smoke unit. This thing smokes out the whole room. And also, check out those rims. 62 inch drivers, all decked out in pinstriping. Same with the drawbar and everything. This thing is a beauty, meant for style and speed. So we're gonna run this around the layout a couple times and then call it off for this video.
that's going to do it for this York Show unboxing for day one. So for tomorrow, I plan on buying like smoke fluid, small items like that. So really don't plan on doing an unboxing video for that. But this has been an awesome show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I also plan to do some run sessions with this beautiful Atlantic. Such a beautiful locomotive. I love the pinstriping and all that, all the detail, the firebox glow, all that cool stuff. And I do apologize for this being a shorter video. I do have to go to work actually like right now. So if you guys are new to the channel, always consider subscribing. Leaving one of these really helps. Love reading the comments, guys. Have a great weekend at York. Hope to see many of you guys there. Do a plan on doing a uh, layout video for tomorrow. And also Saturday, I have some videos planned as well. Until next time, everyone, happy railroading. We'll see you next time. See you guys.